Hello everyone, welcome back to Hexabot Mechatronics and Robotics channel. Today we'll explore encoders, the electronic eyes of every servo system. Encoders provide real-time feedback of position, speed, and direction for precise automation. An encoder is a motion sensor, a small but powerful device that converts mechanical movement, such as the rotation of a motor shaft, into electrical signals that a controller can understand. It is usually mounted directly on the motor shaft or on a moving mechanical axis. By doing this, it can continuously measure and report position, where exactly the shaft is right now, speed, how fast the shaft is rotating, direction, whether the motor is turning clockwise or counterclockwise, displacement, how far something has moved over time. There are different technologies used to build encoders, optical encoders, the most common type. They use light beams passing through a patterned disk to generate precise pulses. Magnetic encoders, very robust and resistant to dust, dirt, or vibration, so they are used in heavy industrial environments. Resistive encoders, less common, but useful for certain special purpose measurement systems. Encoders are also classified into two main types. Incremental encoders, these generate a stream of pulses relative to the motion. The system counts how many pulses occur, and from this, it calculates how far and how fast the shaft has moved. Absolute encoders, instead of only sending pulses, each position of the shaft is assigned a unique binary code. This means that even if power is lost, when the machine restarts, the encoder immediately knows the exact position of the shaft. In short, an encoder is like the electronic eye of a machine. It constantly watches the motion of the motor and sends accurate feedback to the control system. How does an encoder work? Let's take the most common type, the optical encoder. First, imagine a thin circular disc attached firmly to the motor shaft. On this disc are many tiny slots or transparent windows arranged in a pattern. On one side of the disc, there is a light source such as an LED. On the other side, facing the LED, there is a photo detector. As the motor shaft rotates, the disc also rotates. The slots on the disc allow the light beam to pass through, but the solid parts block the light. This means the photo detector receives light in an on-off pattern. Each time light passes through a slot, it generates an electrical pulse. Over one full revolution, this produces a series of pulses, a digital signal of zeros and ones that can be read by the controller. From these pulses, the control system can extract a lot of useful information. Resolution, PPR, pulses per revolution. The more slots on the disk, the more pulses per turn, and the more precise the measurement. Pulse frequency, how close together the pulses are, tells us how fast the shaft is spinning. Phase A and phase B signals, Two sensors can be placed slightly offset, so the system can tell not only the speed, but also the direction of rotation. Index pulse, Z, a special signal that appears once per revolution, marking the home or reference position. To make it simple, let's use an analogy. Think of walking on a treadmill. Each step you take is like one encoder pulse. Counting the steps tells you the distance traveled. If you start walking faster, the steps come more frequently. This is like the encoder showing a higher speed. If you walk backward, the system knows because the pattern of steps changes. This is like the encoder detecting reverse direction. So, in essence, an encoder is continuously counting steps for a motor or machine and translating those steps into precise digital information that the control system can use.
Encoders are used in one servo control, robotics, CNC machines, 3D printers, two pump control. Feedback ensures correct filling speed. Three steel cutting. Encoder measures feed length for precise cuts. Four conveyor bottle counting. Counts products in and out. Detects mismatches or delays. Encoders add flexibility to handle products of different shapes and sizes while maintaining accuracy. In summary, encoders are the key sensors for motion control. They provide precision, real-time feedback, and flexibility. Applications, robotics, CNC, pumping, cutting, bottling. If you found this video helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with others who might benefit. Your support helps Hexabot continue to create new bilingual educational videos on mechatronics, robotics, and automation engineering. Stay tuned for the next lesson, where we'll keep exploring the fascinating world of smart machines.